Okay, I wanted to show you a very simple and inexpensive power backup system. This setup is used to run my solar refrigerator when I go on trips, and it's here for emergencies. This is a 100 watt solar panel. I think I paid about $78 for it. And these are some of the power stations. I have a couple more in uh, emergency storage, I guess I'll call it. They're, uh, they're in their boxes wrapped in aluminum foil and in a metal trash can. And you can see this solar panel is charging this one here. This was almost full when I hooked it up. So I don't recommend this at all. <laughs> supposed to be a 500 watt power bank yeah doesn't last long at all this one here who has gotten a lot more work actually is much better it's a 300 watt power station you can charge your uh, you can plug in USBs right there you can charge your phone you can plug in other things i've never used the plugs on the left there <clears throat> now that's where i plug my uh, solar fridge into the ac you plug it in you hit the ac button and you'll see the readings right here 100 percent and then i turn this off when i'm using it to save a little battery of course you can plug in other things over here this is where you plug in to charge it and you'll <clears throat> you'll use one of these here so again this is an off-brand super cheap really crappy power station <laughs> don't recommend it now this is only a hundred watt and I love it I run my solar fridge at night with this <coughs> works really well and then I run the fridge during the day with this one and this is backup so what I like to do is I'll have the solar panel actually hooked up to the uh, power station I'm using so it can charge as it's being used but what I can also do is while I'm using one of these I can charge another one and I don't recommend the flexible solar panels at all. I had a suitcase, 120 watt. It was terrible. It could not keep up with any of these. I actually had to use my vehicle to keep the fridge going because the, the solar panel was not recharging these fast enough. And they last a long time, so it should have been able to keep up with it easy. It was a 200 watt solar panel. Couldn't... Well, I used 120 watt, that didn't work. I used my backup 200 watt, that didn't work. Now I'm using the 100 watt for my trailer. Now I'm gonna replace this with a uh, Harbor Freight uh, solar panel. I just love their solar panels. Uh, I actually have a brain injury. I forgot my solar panel was on the roof of my car four times. And it flew off four times. The third time it shattered, but still worked. The fourth time, it still worked, but uh, not very well. <laughs> so, highly recommend the Harbor Freight solar panels. This is good as well. I haven't used it much at all. So, this panel comes with these right here. And you can see how they plug in really easy. They plug in easy, they come out easy. And then I bought this piece here, okay? So that is this cord here. Bought it in a kit and it works amazing. 
So that cord comes all the way down here. And that's what you're using to charge. Now, if this is this is the end that comes with the kit, if it doesn't work, you have multiple plugs you can use. There's a B in there, which is what the all-way power station uses. The 100-watt power station uses that real small one. I have no use for that. So, yeah, great kit, just a great kit. Uh, I'll put a link to all this on Amazon for you. Uh, I don't get any kickbacks, so I'm just trying to help people out get started. Hope it helps.